Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miara Jennings and in this DIY video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, by now you already know I see something. I want to DIY it and these denim hats are giving me 90s vibes which I love so that's what we're gonna make today I'm starting off with these long flared jeans which is perfect because we'll need all that extra material and in addition to the jeans I am using a pencil fabric scissors pins a seam ripper a pattern that I got from Etsy for two bucks and my sewing machine, yes, she back, she ready to go. She took a break and she is ready to get back to work. <laughs> For more information on all of these items, including the pattern that I'll be using, just scroll down to that description box and let's get started. First things first, we're gonna turn these bad boys into shorts. So I'm using a pencil to mark the spot where I'm going to cut them later. What we're also going to do is take in this waist because it's just not fitting really, it's just not looking good. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. But first I am using my fabric scissors and I'm cutting right across each leg at that mark that I made with my pencil. You wanna make these cuts slightly, slightly diagonal with the higher points being on the outsides. Now I'm just using my fingers to pick those loose threads at the bottom for a nice frayed look. And of course, after you wash them and wear them a few times, it'll be even more prominent. All right, and I've got my shorts and now I'm going to work on that waistband. I'm taking my seam ripper and I am going to rip the seams on each side at the bottom of the waistband from the outside of each front pocket to just past the middle of each front pocket. Once that's all done, I'm taking my fabric scissors and I'm cutting that waistband right at that point. I'm trimming about an inch or so off that flap and then what I'm going to do is place that flap over the other side of the waistband, pulling it in, and then I'm just going to sew everything together. I'm doing the same exact thing to the left side and now it's time to head over to the sewing machine. Again, all I'm doing is placing that cut flap over the inside of the waistband like so, lining everything up, and then I'm going to sew right along those seams. Going back and forth a couple times to reinforce things, make sure everything is in place. And once I go over those seams, I'm just flipping the shorts around and sewing that cut edge down. And voila, it is done. And that's my go-to trick that I've developed for taking in jeans that don't fit. And it's really worked out for me. They've lasted, they fit great, they look so much better than before. And everyone has a different strategy doing this, so I'm not saying my way is the best way, but it works for me. And now I am using those pant legs and the pattern that I got from an Etsy seller to create my favorite part of this project, the hat. I've linked the info for this pattern down below in the description box. I'm starting with the brim and I'm placing the pattern right on top of that pant leg, lining the top of it up with a folded end, and then using my pencil to trace it. Now I'm using my fabric scissors to cut it out. And there we go, that will be the brim of the hat. Now we will move on to the crown of the hat. I'm using more of the excess material, folding it over, lining one end of that pattern up with the folded side of the material, using my pencil to trace the pattern, and then cutting it out. And there we go, the crown is complete, and last but not least, we will be cutting out the top of the hat. And this is very simple, it's just a circle. Okay, and we've got all the pieces for the hat cut out and ready to go. Now we're just gonna pin a few things in place. Flipping the crown inside out, lining up the edges, and then pinning along the edges. 
that's really all the pinning we need. And now it's time to head over to the sewing machine. All I'm doing now is sewing right down those sides about a half inch or so in from the edges. That's it. Now I am adding notches to the shorter end of that crown piece and this will allow it to attach to the top of the hat more easily. I'm lining up those notches around the edge of the circle and then sewing the pieces together all the way around that edge. Remember these pieces are inside out so this is the inside of the hat. We'll flip it around later on. And now all I have to do is attach that brim lining it up with the edge of that crown and sewing all the way around. Lastly, just sewing those last two edges closed. And the hat is complete. Guys, I am so excited about this little matching set. I'm obsessed with the raw frayed edges. Oh, I gotta go try it on. Let's go. Just a little bit of cutting, a little bit of sewing, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a comment below to let me know what you think, and let me know what you want to see me DIY next. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next one.